everybody, I'm back, Mrs. Moore here. Today we are going to start to learn some of the aspects of the practical exam for the state board. Um, four elements go on the head and all of them stay in until after the finger wave. So the first will be the rulers, that's what we're going to learn in this video. And then the permanent wave, pin curls, and lastly everybody's favorite, that finger wave. So to do the rollers, you're going to need three full-size rollers. I tell my students tan is the best color to use spacing-wise. I would recommend having one or two extra out in case you were to drop them because on the state board everything is timed. For the state board rollers, we have 10 minutes to complete the task. You're also going to want to use your roller clips, also known as your dual purpose clips because, as we know, they push all the way into the roller and disappear. For doing the rollers on the state board exam, you are not allowed to use product, so you're just going to start out today with the hair being wet. So we want the top section, the panel that we're going to use, to be right in the center. So we're going to use our mannequin head to determine what that is. And we want our panel to be a little bit more narrow than the width of the roller. The reason for that is if I make my panel too wide, as I roll the hair back, the hair will fall off the sides. And that won't be neat and you'll end up losing points. So again, make sure that we're in the center. Measure all the way back to make sure that you haven't gone too narrow or too wide. Okay, our bases should be the same width as the diameter of our roller. First roller is supposed to be on base, meaning that we're holding the hair at 45 degrees. So by setting the roller here, I know the exact width with my rat tail comb. I'm making a nice neat parting so that I have a rectangular base. You will be graded on your bases. Take this hair, comb it nice and neat. Remember where 90 degrees is, which is straight out from the head. On base, I would like to comb this hair to 45. So comb both the back of your section, your subsection and the front, nice and neatly. You're rolling the rollers away from the face. So keep that comb in your hand. Your roller goes behind the hair. Make sure that your ends are in there nice and neatly. If you need to use the end of your comb to help guide them, and you can. I like to put my thumbs on the outside of the roller to help guide that hair right in the center. Roll it all the way down, and I know that I'm at a good degree if I can actually see my parting. Make sure when you're pinning your roller, you pin it where the roller meets the scalp so that it holds really well for you. You might actually want to have an, a few extra clips with you as well in case you drop. Second, we are going to do a half base roller. Half base roller sits half on its base, half off behind its base. So again, the same width, measure with the roller, but for this one, we are going to hold the hair at 90 degrees. So very carefully comb both sides of the hair, being sure to not mess up the roller you just put in before. So straight up from the head, roller again behind the hair, so you're rolling towards yourself. Make sure your ends are in there nice and neatly. Use your comb if you need to. All the way down to the base and you're going to pin. This time you will not see your base parting because again the roller is half off of its base so there will be a little bit of a space between your first roller and your second roller since you have different volumes. Last roller will be off its base completely. So again my sectioning coming across and this time I'm going to hold the hair at 45 degrees behind the base. So this will be the least amount of volume. Comb the hair nice and neatly. Roller behind so that this hair is coming towards me. The roller and the hair is coming towards me. All the way down to its base. Hold it nice and tightly and clip. One of the easiest part of the state board exams, in my opinion, to get done in those 10 minutes and get yourself a lot of points toward passing your exam. So let's just take this off and take a peek. An examiner will look at your mannequin to make sure that you're on base, half base, off base, that your tension is nice and neat, and that you have your pins secured properly. Make sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel below.